have you ever watched a thrilling TV movie that keeps you on the edge of your seat? If not, you're in for a treat. In 1971, a gripping TV movie called Duel hit the screens. It's about a man driving through the desert who gets terrorized by a mysterious truck driver. The tension builds as he tries to escape the relentless pursuit. The first time I watched this TV movie was during a late night movie marathon. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. There are many fascinating facts about this TV movie that you might not know. Did you know that the director, Steven Spielberg, had to work with a tight budget and limited resources? Despite this, he created a masterpiece that still captivates audiences today. As you watch this video, get ready for some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Duel. Keep your eyes peeled for details you might have missed. Now, I'm curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, grab some popcorn and enjoy the ride as we delve into the world of Duel. Truckloads of suspense await in this classic TV movie from 1971, where a man named Man finds himself targeted by the unseen driver of a dingy tanker truck along a lonely desert highway. The tension is palpable as Man attempts to evade the relentless pursuit, first on the road and later at a roadside diner. Despite the seemingly thin premise, the film masterfully builds suspense, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. Dennis Weaver delivers a convincing performance as Man, capturing the escalating fear and paranoia as he grapples with the inexplicable hostility of the truck driver. The lack of dialogue and score adds to the eerie atmosphere, allowing the tension to simmer and the suspense to mount. As the cat and mouse game between Man and the truck driver unfolds, questions arise about the motivations behind the relentless pursuit. Is it a simple case of rogue rage, or are there deeper psychological dynamics at play? Spielberg's direction keeps audiences guessing, offering tantalizing glimpses into the character's inner turmoil without ever fully revealing their motivations. Despite its minimalistic approach, the film packs a powerful emotional punch, exploring themes of fear, paranoia, and the primal instinct for survival. Man's desperate attempts to outwit his pursuer, culminating in a final showdown on the desert highway, are both exhilarating and harrowing to watch. In the end, Duel is more than just a thriller. It's a psychological study of two men locked in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Spielberg's deft direction and Weaver's compelling performance elevate what could have been a simple genre film into a gripping and thought-provoking cinematic experience. Warning spoilers ahead. The film's ambiguous ending leaves viewers pondering the fate of man and the deeper implications of his harrowing ordeal. Whether seen as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked aggression or a visceral exploration of primal fear, Duel remains a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences decades after its release. In summary, Duel is a masterclass in suspense filmmaking, offering a thrilling ride that will leave viewers on the edge of their seats from start to finish. With its minimalist approach and powerful performances, it's no wonder that this TV movie has earned its place as one of the great thrillers of all time. In Duel, Steven Spielberg opted for a red car for David Mann to ensure its visibility against the vast desert backdrop. During the scene where he attempts to aid a busload of children, the tunnel featured is the same as in an episode of Barnaby Jones titled Loose Connection. Spielberg's admiration for writer Richard Matheson, known from his work on The Twilight Zone, drew him to collaborate on the film. Matheson's influence resonates throughout the tense narrative, adding depth to the storyline. In one of Dennis Weaver's early film roles post his departure from the television series Gunsmoke, a notable scene in the movie features his character making a pit stop at a gas station. As he drives away, the station worker mimics Weaver's distinctive stiff-legged walk, reminiscent of his Gunsmoke character, Chester Good. The genesis of Duel stemmed from writer Richard Matheson's real-life encounter with an antagonistic truck. Faced with a need to jot down his thoughts, Matheson used his personal mail when paper wasn't available in his friend's car. During the filming at Chuck's Cafe, Matheson, observing scenes unfold, initially mistook the people inside as actual customers rather than Spielberg's chosen actors. The studio's preference for rear projection in the open road scenes was overridden by Steven Spielberg's insistence on authentic filming in genuine locations. Spielberg's commitment to realism and capturing the tension on the road adds a layer of authenticity to the narrative. 
A notable feature of the film is the variety of license plates on the truck's front bumper, indicating its widespread travels across several states. Instead of storyboarding, Steven Spielberg and his team crafted a detailed aerial perspective map of the road, delineating each incident and camera placement. Spielberg approached the movie with a mindset of a monster movie, substituting Godzilla with an imposing 18-wheeler tanker truck. The attention to detail and innovative approach to storytelling are evident throughout the film. In the story of suspense and unease, Gregory Peck was almost the lead before the project turned into a TV movie. This film is special for Spielberg, as John Williams, known for his famous music, didn't compose for it. The main character, David Mann, feels constantly nervous as he travels alone on a lonely road. He keeps checking his mirrors, looking back over his shoulder many times, showing how scared he is and how he's being chased by a mysterious truck. This thrilling movie keeps audiences hooked with its tense scenes and simple style, keeping them on the edge of their seats until the very end. In a move to extend its runtime for theatrical release, Universal Pictures procured extra trucks to shoot added scenes, with only one of these trucks surviving to date. As of 2021, Chuck's Cafe remains intact, now serving as a French restaurant in Santa Clarita, California. Notably, a pivotal scene at Chuck's Cafe showcases a signature technique by Steven Spielberg, influenced by directors Orson Welles and Alfred Hitchcock. This scene unfolds in a single continuous take, lasting 2 minutes and 45 seconds, depicting David Mann's journey from the restroom back to the dining room while maintaining tension without breaks. Spielberg's adept use of this technique became a recurring motif in his subsequent films, elevating suspense and storytelling. With just a week's notice, Billy Goldenberg composed the score for the film. After the success of Jaws, Universal Pictures attempted to repackage Duel for theaters. Despite their efforts, it failed to draw audiences and was quickly pulled from screens. In the film's climax, the truck hits the camera, causing distortion and visible damage in the last frame. Additionally, the shot is a flip negative. Many viewers found themselves captivated by the intense cat and mouse game between the protagonist and the mysterious truck driver. However, despite its gripping narrative and suspenseful sequences, the film struggled to find its audience in theaters. Critics praised the film's innovative use of suspense and tension, which kept audiences on the edge of their seats throughout the runtime. Nevertheless, Duel remains a cult classic among fans of suspense and thriller genres, celebrated for its minimalist yet effective storytelling and memorable performances. It stands as a testament to the power of simplicity in filmmaking, where a tense battle between man and machine unfolds on the open road, leaving audiences breathless until the very end. In one rendition of the film, the distinct sound of the truck's air brakes reverberates through the gas station scene adding an eerie tension to the moment. However, in an alternate cut, viewers are enveloped in the haunting symphony of the trailer's creaks and groans instead, intensifying the atmosphere of suspense. David Mann and his wife, the central characters of the narrative, are the only ones bestowed with names throughout the entirety of the movie. This deliberate choice by Spielberg adds a layer of intimacy and familiarity to their plight, emphasizing their relatability to the audience. Spielberg's personal connection to the concept of the truck as a menacing force stems from his own childhood encounters with bullies. This resonant theme infuses the film with a palpable sense of dread and primal fear as the relentless pursuit of the anonymous truck driver becomes a metaphorical battle against the demons of one's past. In crafting this gripping tale, Spielberg masterfully captures the essence of primal fear and relentless pursuit, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats until the very end. In the movie duel, Dennis Weaver shows off his driving skills, doing most of the driving himself. But director Steven Spielberg wanted to play it safe for the risky scenes, so he hired a stunt driver. There's a quick scene where an old couple drives past in a bright red car, echoing another similar scene in Spielberg's later movie, Back to the Future. Some people thought Dustin Hoffman might play the main role, which adds a twist to the casting process. These stories give us a peek into how the movie was made and Spielberg's attention to detail. Crafted carefully, Duel shows Spielberg's early talent as a director. In 
Isn't it fascinating how the little details behind a movie can make it even more enjoyable? For instance, the director considered casting Jean Louis Trintignant for a key role, which could have given the film a different feel. The inspiration for the story came from a real life encounter, adding authenticity to the tense scenes. Even the phone number used in the movie was real at the time. These insights into the making of the film help us appreciate the hard work and attention to detail that goes into creating a memorable cinematic experience. It's like peeking behind the curtain and seeing the magic of filmmaking in action. In the end, all these elements come together to make the movie a timeless classic loved by audiences for years to come. During the filming of the movie, Steven Spielberg accidentally appeared in one scene reflected in a telephone booth. He later admitted this was a mistake, not a planned cameo. After the movie's European theatrical release, 18 instances of Spielberg appearing in reflections were noticed due to a change in aspect ratio. Duel remains Spielberg's quickest film shoot, taking only about 12 days. In a scene featuring Snackerama, an old West wagon with the sign Dr. Stringfellow's Rejuvenator Medicine Show was visible. This wagon also appeared in the Night Gallery episode Dr. Stringfellow's Rejuvenator. Lucille Benson, known for her role as the lady at Snackerama Gas Station in Duel, also appeared as a gas station attendant in Steven Spielberg's 1941. Spielberg reused two other characters from Duel, the elderly couple in the car, who were featured in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Dennis Weaver's performance in Touch of Evil convinced Spielberg that he was perfect for the role of David Mann. Despite Mann's presumed businessman status, he displays extreme athleticism while chasing the truck on foot. This is because Dennis Weaver, the actor who portrayed Mann, was a track and field athlete in his university years and placed sixth in the Olympic trials in the decathlon. In scenes later reused for a TV episode in 1978, the movie's footage saw the Red Valiant crashing into a fence, featuring the same phantom truck and utilizing a similar Valiant. This recycling upset Spielberg, leading to future contracts protecting his films. At 103, a Chevrolet station wagon with manufacturer plates can be spotted. Weaver, fond of the film, watched it twice yearly. The truck featured in the movie sports license plates from various states, serving as a form of tax payment. Most of these plates display MC, indicating motor carrier, while the New Mexico plate shows HUP for highway use permit. In May 1970, the FCC banned radio prank calls similar to the one David Mann hears at the start of the film. David Mann drives a 1970 Red Plymouth Valiant with a California license plate reading 149 PCE. At the beginning of the encounter, his car's odometer registers only for 764 miles. In the realm of movies, there's a story about a big truck that seems to have a personality of its own. The truck, a Peterbilt, was chosen for its cab, which looks a bit like a face, adding to its menacing aura on the open road. Richard Matheson wrote the original tale, which was published in Playboy. Interestingly, the license plate on the main character's car matches that of a cop car in another movie. These small connections between films can be quite fascinating. The movie, Duel, grips viewers with its intense moments on the highway and the fear of a man chased by something unseen. Every scene feels alive, pulling viewers deeper into the chase. As the tension builds, you can't help but feel the inevitability of the climax drawing near. It's a gripping story that captures the essence of suspense, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Filmed entirely on location, Duel was a 1971 TV movie that made waves on US television. Director Steven Spielberg later expanded it into a feature film for its European release. Despite Spielberg's desire for Dennis Weaver in the lead role, Weaver's signing didn't occur until the evening before shooting began. The tense narrative, coupled with Weaver's portrayal, helped cement Duel's status as a classic thriller. In the movie, the truck's front bumper features train track rails positioned sideways, situated directly below its license plates. Throughout the chase scenes, Dennis Weaver's character spots a park sedan resembling a police car, briefly igniting hope. However, it turns out to be a service vehicle for a pest exterminator named Griblapes, which is Spielberg spelled backward. Steven Spielberg, the director of the movie, initially viewed television with a sense of snobbery while working on Duel and other TV shows. 
However, he later acknowledged that his television experience provided crucial preparation for his future work in film direction. After a TV movie got super popular, Parker Brothers thought, hey, let's make a board game out of this. But even though they tried really hard, the game didn't become a hit. Now, it's rare and collectors really want it. The movie, which was supposed to be for TV, became a big deal and even made it to theaters in Europe. This change from TV to theaters showed how much people loved the story and characters. Moving from TV to theaters proved that the story was really special and could reach lots of people no matter where they watched it. So, even though the board game didn't do well, the movie is still loved by fans everywhere. In the classic TV movie of 1971, the car featured underwent a change using three different cars. Initially, a 1970 model with a powerful 318 V8 engine appeared. It had distinctive V8 emblems on the front fenders. Later, scenes showed a 1971 Valiant with a 225 slant 6 engine. Eventually, a 1972 Valiant, also equipped with a 225 slant 6, made its appearance. This change coincided with the November 1971 television airing, matching the 1972 model year. All three cars had wheel covers exclusive to Plymouth in 1971. As the character journeys into the desert in the early driving scenes, the radio provides a diversion, a prank call to the Census Bureau. The DJ behind the call is Sweet Dick Whittington, a legendary Los Angeles radio personality. The prank revolves around questioning whether the caller should identify himself as the head of his household due to his wife's predominant influence, hinting at the theme of diminished masculinity in the narrative. Steven Spielberg, who later directed blockbuster films like Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, had already made a name for himself in 1971 with Duel. This movie wasn't a result of his later fame, but rather an early success, establishing his directing skills well before his more famous works. Richard Matheson initially considered having David Mann's wife accompany him in the car, intending to enhance the storyline and provide a verbal counterpoint for exposition. However, it was later decided that Mann should remain isolated in his journey, with exposition conveyed through his narration instead. In 1971, Steven Spielberg's secretary recommended the story after reading it in Playboy magazine. The sequence from the gas station in Acton to Chuck's Cafe takes 10 minutes and 35 seconds for 10 miles, resulting in an average speed of 56.7 mph. Calculations from the speedometer's display corroborate this speed. Universal temporarily halted production of McLeod to allow Dennis Weaver to assume the lead role. According to Steven Spielberg, the multiple license plates on the truck's bumper suggest that the truck driver is a serial killer who has run down other drivers in other states. When Dennis Weaver pulls into the Snakamaga station, a red wagon can be seen in the background that reads Dr. Stringfellow's Rejuvenator, which is the title of a Rod Serling's Night Gallery segment starring Forrest Tucker as the title character and Lou Frizzell as a co-star. David Jansen declined the lead role. During filming, the Federal Highway Administration introduced new road marking guidelines. Some sections of the road in the film had both old white lines and new yellow stripes. Steven Spielberg mentioned that European critics interpreted abstract concepts in the movie, like class struggle in America. However, he sees it as high noon on wheels. In the early 70s, a TV movie emerged with a runtime of 74 minutes, originally too short for a theatrical release. Universal Studios enlisted Steven Spielberg to extend it to 90 minutes, adding pivotal scenes such as the railroad crossing, the school bus encounter, David's phone call to his wife, and the opening city drive. Spielberg handpicked Dennis Weaver for the role of David Mann, inspired by Weaver's jittery motel night manager character in the 1958 film Noir Touch of Evil. The cafe scene, where Mann nervously declares, you've got another thing coming, mirrors Weaver's earlier colloquialism use, Adding a touch of wit, the pest control company in the movie is cleverly named Greblape's Pest Control Spielberg spelled backward. In this TV movie, suspense is woven through meticulous scene additions, inspired casting, and a subtly reverse nod to the director himself. A unique blend of tension and creativity crafted for the small screen. In the production of the film, 
The truck was expertly maneuvered by a 50-year-old stunt driver, Carrie Lofton. Despite appearances, the truck never exceeded 30 mph on the winding California roads. To enhance the sense of speed, Spielberg utilized a specially modified camera car from the 1968 Steve McQueen thriller Bullet. This camera car, which could be lowered to just 6 inches off the ground, gave the illusion of higher speed. Additionally, Spielberg strategically filmed the vehicles against cliff backgrounds, paired with an upward angled perspective, further enhancing the illusion of speed. The opening scene, set in a dark garage, was shot at a house near Universal Studios, specifically in the Toluca Lake area. The homeowner recalled Spielberg's visit, mentioning that he paid 50 dollars to film in the garage himself. When Carrie Lofton, portraying the truck driver, inquired about his character's motivation for tormenting the car's driver, Spielberg bluntly replied, You're a dirty, rotten, no good son of a bitch. Lofton's response? Kid, you hired the right man. In a surprising twist, the TV movie that aired in 1971 had a poignant link to real-life events, adding an extra layer of emotion to its gripping storyline. Directed by a then-unknown filmmaker, the movie was not only his first feature-length work, but also set a new standard for suspenseful storytelling on television. The plot revolves around a terrifying game of cat and mouse between a lone driver and an unseen truck driver on a remote highway. The director's innovative use of camera angles and sound design heightened the tension, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. The absence of a clear antagonist and the relentless pursuit by the ominous truck contributed to the film's suspense and fear factor. Despite its limited budget, the movie received praise for its intense atmosphere and captivating narrative, showcasing the director's talent and marking the start of a successful career in filmmaking. In summary, the TV movie's tragic connection to real-life events and the director's skillful direction made it a landmark production in 1971, paving the way for future success in the industry. In a tragic turn of events, a young filmmaker lost his life in a plane crash before his debut movie could even hit the screens. Despite this heartbreaking loss, the film he created stands as a testament to his talent and vision, leaving a lasting impact on the thriller genre. The chilling premise, intense atmosphere of the movie captivate audiences, showcasing the director's skill in building suspense. It remains a classic example of masterful storytelling and continues to be treasured by fans worldwide. In a lesser known TV movie from 1971, something tragic happened behind the scenes that many viewers might not know about. Despite its intense storyline, the production saw a stunt driver lose his life. The movie itself tells the story of a man pursued relentlessly by an unknown truck driver. As tension rises, it becomes a battle for survival where it's hard to tell who's the hunter and who's the prey. The director's skill and the lead actor's performance create an atmosphere of fear and suspense, with every turn of events keeping the audience on edge. What's striking is the absence of background music, which adds to the raw intensity of the scenes. Despite being a TV movie that has left a lasting impact on the thriller genre, its influence can be seen in later works, proving its significance in cinematic history. It's a reminder of the power of a well-told story and the skill of those who create it. In a surprising twist, the 1971 TV movie marked the directorial debut of Steven Spielberg. This thriller, originally made for TV, launched Spielberg's career in cinema. The story follows a lone driver, played by Dennis Weaver, who faces off against a menacing tanker truck on remote desert roads. As the suspense builds, viewers are immersed in a tense battle between the driver and the mysterious trucker. Tragically, during filming, a stuntman lost his life in a car crash, highlighting the dangers of movie production. Despite its tragic backdrop, the movie's minimalistic storytelling an intense suspense won over both audiences and critics, earning it a cult following in the thriller genre. Overall, the 1971 TV movie showcases Spielberg's early talent for building tension and delivering unforgettable cinematic experiences. In a surprising turn of events, a 1971 TV movie encountered an unforeseen accident during filming leading to severe injuries for a crew member. This incident cast a somber shadow over the production, reminding everyone of the risks involved in filmmaking. Despite the setback, the 
the TV movie stands out for its gripping storyline, intense atmosphere. Directed by Steven Spielberg, it revolves around a man's harrowing encounter with a mysterious and relentless truck driver on a deserted highway. With minimal dialogue and maximum suspense, the show captivates audiences with its raw intensity. The success of the TV movie lies in its ability to tap into primal fears and the unknown, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. Through skillful direction and masterful storytelling, it transforms a seemingly mundane situation into a pulse-pounding battle for survival. The TV movie's influence extends beyond its initial release, inspiring generations of filmmakers and setting a high standard for suspenseful thrillers. Its enduring impact serves as a reminder of the power of cinema to evoke emotion and provoke thought. A lesser known fact in film history involves a TV movie from 1971 that unexpectedly launched a legendary director's career. Originally planned as a short television film, it quickly gained attention and was extended into a full-length feature by a young Spielberg. This decision reshaped his trajectory, propelling him into the ranks of Hollywood's elite directors. The movie, despite its acclaim abroad, was overlooked in its home country until its theatrical release in 1983. Directed by Spielberg, it stars Dennis Weaver as a man pursued by a mysterious and malevolent truck driver on a lonely highway. With its simple yet gripping narrative, the film captivated audiences and critics alike, showcasing Spielberg's early talent for building tension and crafting memorable scenes. Despite limited resources, the movie remains a significant work in Spielberg's early career, highlighting his ability to tell compelling stories. Its impact on cinema history is undeniable, serving as a testament to Spielberg's innovation and talent in filmmaking. Decades ago, a TV movie captivated viewers with its gripping tale of a man chased relentlessly by a mysterious and menacing truck driver on an empty road. Sadly, during the filming of one of the chase scenes, a crew member lost their life. Despite this tragedy, the movie continued production and went on to become a cult favorite, launching the director's career. It's a reminder of how suspense and tension can make a lasting impact in movies, leaving a mark in cinematic history. In 1971, a TV movie revealed a tragic fact about a stuntman named Kerry Lofton, who drove a menacing tanker in the film. During the filming, he lost his son, adding a haunting layer of irony to the production. Throughout the gripping tale, the protagonist relentlessly pursues an unsuspecting driver through desolate highways. The director strategically limits dialogue, letting the ominous roar of the truck's engine build tension. As the story progresses, the protagonist finds himself trapped in a perilous game of survival against an unrelenting adversary. The movie stands out for its minimalist approach, relying on visuals and sound design to evoke fear and suspense. The absence of a clear motive for the truck driver adds mystery, emphasizing the randomness of the protagonist's peril. This choice contributes to the movie's impact, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Filmed in just 13 days on a modest budget, the success of the movie paved the way for the director's illustrious career, marking a significant moment in cinema history. In a tragic twist, a fatal accident occurred during the filming of the 1971 TV movie. One of the crew members lost their life when a camera car crashed during production. Despite the grief and shock, the cast and crew persevered to complete the movie in honor of their fallen colleague. Directed by Steven Spielberg, the movie tells the story of a man, played by Dennis Weaver, who is relentlessly pursued by a mysterious and malevolent tanker truck driver on a remote highway. The suspenseful thriller captivated audiences with its minimalist approach, focusing on the intense cat and mouse game between the protagonist and his unseen antagonist. Spielberg's masterful direction and innovative camera work created a sense of claustrophobia and tension as the audience is placed in the passenger seat alongside the protagonist, experiencing his fear and desperation. Despite its modest beginnings as a made-for-TV movie, Duel has since gained cult status and is regarded as a classic of the thriller genre. Its influence can be seen in subsequent films and TV shows, and it remains a testament to Spielberg's early talent and skill as a filmmaker. The tragic accident that occurred during filming serves as a somber reminder of the risks involved in the movie-making process. 
However, it also underscores the dedication of the cast and crew to see the project through to completion, resulting in a gripping and unforgettable cinematic experience.